If you're later in life and you don't think that you want another relationship ever or another partner, and you certainly don't want to get married again, but in your heart of hearts, you can admit that you're lonely and that when the family goes home and you're all by yourself, you wish that you had someone that stayed with you, then do yourself a favor and open your mind and your heart to just finding a friend. You know, start by having a friend, somebody that you can do things with and go places with that is, is really kind of like your peer that's on the same level with you, that maybe lost somebody too, and you, you can have something in common to talk about that knows they're never going to replace your amazing spouse because no one's ever going to replace their ma amazing spouse. But you can enjoy what's left of life in a much deeper way if you open your heart to the fact that yeah, you really are lonely. If you mm -hmm. think that you're happy the way you are and that, you know, you have a full life, maybe you have kids, maybe you have a business and, and you know, it's like, that's great. But as a life coach, there are seven aspects to the life wheel and every area needs to be balanced or it really pulls on the rest of them. So if in your heart of hearts, you're lonely, then please open your heart to even the potential of having another partner. You don't need to get married again, but wouldn't it be great to have somebody to do things with and go places with? And I mean, let's face it, the really fabulous thing about having a partner and being in a marriage is having your best friend to do everything with you. And I'm really sorry if you lost your best friend, but I really would think that they don't want you to be unhappy. And if at all, you're, you're thinking that you need to be alone for the rest of your life to honor the memory of you know, the person that's passed. That's so not true. It's really not. You can still honor them and be with them. And honestly, like if you find somebody else who's another widow, then you have that in common. And you both have respect for your previous partners, but you can enjoy today and spend time with somebody and just you know see where it goes doesn't have to be the like love of your life, doesn't have to be fireworks, and it just needs to be somebody that you really enjoy your company with. Like I was talking to a really beautiful older woman recently who was telling me that friends of hers had fixed her up with an, an, another, you know, a guy who had also left, lost his wife and that they'd gone out and they'd had no loss for conversation and they had this great time. And, you know, her first initial reaction was like, oh, I'm not interested. I don't want to date. I, I really don't. But then as I talked to her more, she kept talking about him and kept saying, yeah, we really had great rapport. And, and then like he hadn't called her again because she'd let him believe that she wasn't interested. But I encouraged her to give him a call because, you know, just as friends, just to have somebody to get together with. Because later in life, you know, you, you've got so much knowledge and you've, you probably have an easier situation in life, right? And you have so much to enjoy. Why do you want to do that alone? If you're honest with yourself, if you feel lonely, even though you're happy in every other area of your life, open your mind to the fact of just finding a companion to spend time with, somebody to go places with and have dinner with, or you know, go explore some new museum or, or whatever you like to do. But you know, having a peer who's close to your age, who's, you know, maybe been through a loss of a spouse like you have, then you might really be able to make each other's lives happier. And there's really nothing to be ashamed of of that or afraid of about that. And it really, life's too short to be lonely. And if when all your family goes home, you're sitting at home at night feeling like, you really wish you weren't alone, then I'm really encouraging you to get out and join things in your community to meet somebody that you could possibly spend your time with.